Buses of migrants are on their way to New York City right now, expected to arrive tonight. This as shelters are full and the city is trying to construct new facilities to house them, including on Randall's Island. I would assume reporter Safan Kim live at the intake center in Midtown. Safan? Well, Sade, at least five more buses are expected to arrive at the Roosevelt Hotel before 6 a.m. And with still no communication from Texas Governor Greg Abbott, the city is going back to Randall's Island. It is a case of migrant crisis deja vu. Randall's Island, one of the more controversial sites to house migrants, is back playing a leading role in the city's latest plan to handle the surge of asylum seekers. The city constructed the first shelter there last October, only to shut it down just weeks later because it wasn't being used. Migrants didn't want to stay there because of its isolation. So can the city ensure that won't happen again? When we built Randall's Island last year, we had 15,000 migrants, asylum seekers, 15,000. We're now at 97,000. With Governor Hochul by his side, Mayor Adams today at an event in the Bronx saying the situation today is worse than last fall. It'll house 2,000 single adult men, double the normal number. And instead of in a parking lot, the Herc will be built on a soccer field. It cost $16 million to set up and operate the first Randall's Island Herc. Unclear what it cost to tear it down, but $325,000 was spent to break down the Herc on Orchard Beach. We are aggressively, persistently, asking for use of Floyd Bennett Field, for example, as a as a resource for us. And I'm hoping to receive an answer from the White House very soon on that. Critics say both the federal government and the state haven't done enough to help the city. When asked if he thinks the state could do more, the mayor pointing out the state is reimbursing the city for the cost of the second Randall's Island facility and other sites for construction, maintenance and staffing. Meanwhile, the West Side Soccer League, which uses the Randall's Island field, created a petition to stop this, saying we understand that as a city, we're dealing with an unprecedented number of arrivals and that we're struggling to meet the needs of these individuals. However, it simply cannot be at the expense of our youth and the city government must make responsible decisions. The OEM commissioner says the parking lot on Randall's Island is no longer an option. That there is seasonal use that that parking lot is used for concerts, shows, uh, different types of events that they have out there that they need that for. Now, it'll be up and running in the coming weeks. Meanwhile, the OEM commissioner says at the moment, there's over 18,000 migrant kids in the city's care, and the city's top priority is to keep those migrant children off the streets. 